So, Connor, are you looking forward to the start of the new season? Yeah, looking forward to it now, you know. Um, it's been a long, hard pre-season, but uh, it's only around the corner, so we're looking forward to the start of it. And I was signing for St. Pat's from Wexford Utes. Was that a good move for you? Yeah, I think it was, you know. It was probably time for me to move on. Um, I was there for three seasons and uh, obviously enjoyed my time down there, but it was definitely time to step up and get a chance to play in the Premier Division is what I was wanting. And what are you hoping now to achieve at St. Pat's this season? Well, I think we're, we're just looking to get off to a good start, first and foremost. Uh, we're in a, a good few competitions this year, so we're, we're looking to try to get a bit of silverware if we can and, and have a bit of a challenge on the league as well. Um, wouldn't be beyond our grasp with a, a good squad of players that we have, but uh, basically we just have to have to see how it goes at the start and try to get a few early wins under our belt and take it from there. P-Man's brought a lot of new faces into the club. What do you think of the make of the squad? I, th I think there's a good balance there, to be honest. You know, We've, we've still um, plenty of experience there from last year and four or five lads that we have there. and. There's certainly a lot of talent after coming in and a lot of youth, so it's been plenty of enthusiasm, um, plenty of skill and plenty of honesty in, in pre-season. So we're looking to carry that forward now to the start of the season. Um, and hopefully, as I say, everybody will gel together and knit together in the, in the first three or four games and we'll take it from there. Thanks, Conor. Best of luck for the new season. Thanks very much.